Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of generating additive and multiplicative patterns. This is standard 5.4c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 2 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So a worker is building toys at a factory, and they give us the relationship here between the number of hours the employee works, so that's going to be x, the number of toys the employee builds, y, is y equals 9x. So we just need to find which graph best represents that. So that's our equation right there, y equals 9x. Let's take a look at our graphs here. Let's make sure they, they each have number of hours worked. Uh, for X, which is good, they each have number of toys built. For Y, which is good, sometimes problems like this will switch the labels and the axis to try to mess you up. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to create, if we've got Y equals 9X, then we need to create some coordinate pairs. And let's just start... So what we do is we start with our x, right? So we're going to substitute in a value for x. That is our independent variable. That's where we start. Let's start easy, right? Let's start if it's uh, if it's 0. I don't really see 0 plotted here anywhere. Uh, but 0 would be 0, right? So if we did x is 0, what that means is y equals 9. I'm going to put a parenthesis here, times 0. 9 times 0 equals 0. Okay. So we're looking for 0, 0. Like I said, I don't really see that plotted anywhere, but that's okay. We'll move on to 1. So this is what we do. We're going to just say, we're going to take this y equals 9x. We're going to replace the x with 1. We're just going to substitute in values. Start with easy stuff. Values that you know we can find on the x-axis. So y equals 9 times 1. So that's going to equal 9. Let's just get a few more here. 2. Because as you can see, our y is, is going to get pretty large pretty quick. So y equals 9 times 2. So we're just going to double that to get to 18. So you see I'm just plugging in, substituting in a, a number that I choose for x. That's my independent variable. And I get a value for y, which is my dependent variable. Because it depends, my y depends on what I start with max. So let's go with 3. And that's going to be 27, and now that's really big. So here are my coordinate pairs. 0, 0. Like I said, I don't see that anywhere, so I'm just going to kind of mark that out. But I'm seeing a 1, 9. So let's take a look at this first one on F. I see 1, but look at this coordinate pair. Right there, it's a 1, 10. So, first off, that's wrong. But take a look at their 2. Their 2, their x2 looks like 2, 11. And I'm looking for 2, 18. So, definitely no on this one. Hmm. They don't even have an x of 1. They've got a, it looks like a 9. Oh, look at that, they flipped it x of 9, y of 1, x of 18, y of 2, and this is your x of 27, y of 3. So they took my x, y coordinates and flipped them, because it should be 1, 9, 2, 18, and 3, 27. Nice try. All right, h is looking pretty good. I've got a 1, 9, yep. 218, yep. 327, okay. H looks great. Let's see what this is. This is a, once again, they kind of flipped it. 9, 1, but then they don't continue it. They do an 11, 2, and then they've got a 12, 3. So it looks like the reverse of A. Definitely not going to work. So my answer here is H.